During the 2016 electoral cycle, Representative Lloyd Smucker, <laughs> what a name, um, of Pennsylvania, broke a record. Um, this is a very, very sad record, or as the president would say, sad, sad. Um, so he is the biggest sellout in Congress to the NRA. How much money uh, has he raised from them? Two hundred and twenty-one thousand seven hundred and thirty-six. God damn, son. God damn. Remember what what we're talking about here is a house race. In house races, there's a bunch of sellouts in house races, don't get me wrong. But usually, the degree to which you sell out is less than a Senate race because it's a smaller race. But in a house race, Representative Smucker's Jelly took $221,736 from the NRA. So let me explain something to you. This is why Representative Lloyd Smucker will go, no, there's literally no new... Uh, common sense gun reform. None of it. I don't give a flying fuck that 93% of Americans want a universal background check on gun purchases with no exceptions. I simply don't care. I'm not, I don't, I don't give a shit. Don't come to me with, with facts and numbers and polls. I don't care. I don't care that 93% of people want a universal background check. I don't care that 60% of Americans want to ban high capacity magazines. I don't care that 60% of Americans want to ban assault weapons. I don't, I don't care about any of it. I don't care. Bump stocks, turning a semi-automatic weapon into an automatic weapon, fully automatic weapon. He, he, this guy doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care because he's paid not to care because he's a puppet. He is a bitch of Corporate America, and in this instance, the NRA, who represent the gun manufacturers. So this isn't about what the American people want. He's doing the opposite of his job. His job is to represent you, his constituents, the American people. He's representing his donors. That's oligarchy. That's kleptocracy. This guy is a proud oligarch and kleptocrat. Over $221,000. That is lunacy. But there is good news. Jesse King. So Jesse King is a Justice Democrat running to unseat Representative Smucker's Jelly. Um, she's going to unseat him, man. She's going to unseat him and she's going to change it. So this is what she said in response to this. When the NRA uh, spends $221,746 to get you elected, more than the NRA spent on any other congressional candidate... It's hard to stand for what's right and work to keep us safe. I support the right to own guns, and I also know that none of us need to buy rapid-fire assault weapons designed for war zones. You think? Protecting our communities from assault weapons is just common sense. Smucker's cowardice is a betrayal of his responsibility to his constituents. We need uh, to protect our families and our neighbors instead of protecting the power of the corporate firearms lobby. It's time for him to go. Listen, if you are somebody who has a, you know, a pro-gun position, totally fine. Totally fine. But argue it on the merits. So in other words, if you don't take over $220,000 from the NRA and you say, hey, look, I, here's my position and let me explain to you why I have this position. Totally fine, man. That's called democracy. We should have that conversation. That conversation should be out in the open. And that's the system working. But he doesn't have a principled position. For all we know, Representative Smucker's Jelly is like, you know what? I think, I think they're right. We should at least have a background check. 93% of Americans are in favor of it. So chances are, and Representative Smucker in his own mind is like, yeah, I'm even fa in favor of background check. But he's not in favor of anything to actually fix the system because he's paid not to fix the system. So this is about incentives. That's what this is about. And of course, Justice Democrats take no corporate PAC money, no billionaire money. We only raise money in small dollar donations from regular people because that's the only way to guarantee that we represent the people. I don't give a fuck. Somebody could be the best, you know, person and have the purest intent in the world, 
but it's hard, man. If you got fucking Goldman Sachs giving you a hundred thousand dollars, you know, or you, whatever, you pick the conflict of interest, whether it's Exxon Mobil, Big Pharma. You could be a great person, but if they're giving you that money, you're gonna take the fucking phone call and listen to their concerns because it's human nature and it's the way the system works. The only way to guarantee that doesn't happen is to say, that's it. We're drawing a red line and we're just not taking it. We're only raising small dollar donations from regular people. So, uh, let's go, man. JusticeDemocrats.com slash fight. I can't take doing these stories anymore because that is just, it's unconscionable that there's a a congressman who took over $220,000 from the NRA, and yet he's going to pretend. Like, no, I just have a difference of opinion. No, you don't. You, you're a puppet, and you were paid to have that position, and that is the opposite of how a democracy is supposed to work.